I absolutely love wonky canal bridges like this. Maybe asymmetrical is a better term, but it's just not the way I talk. So a lot of the Llangofflin Canal passes through the flat farmland of Shropshire. So you have the classic humpback bridges like this, but when you get to these last few miles as it approaches Slangofflin itself, just look at how steep the hillsides, the canal skirts around is. So you can see here barely any orange contour lines in the flat farmlands, and then this wonderful burst of orange lines as we go up the Vale of Slangofflin. In this video we are focusing just slightly upstream from the wonderful but currently out of action aqueduct and just look at this place, you could spend a lifetime talking about this and in fact I have done, please check out my other videos to see those clips. There's a couple of interesting little footbridges and things on your way upstream from there but to me the first sign that you're entering wonky bridge territory comes from the first normal humpback bridge so if we have a little look up at the track alongside it going downhill from the canal you'll notice how exceptionally steep this country lane is as we zoom in we can see we've actually got a brow of a hill there and it gets even steeper there's some beautiful houses down there as well I tell you so just up from the Trevor Basin here you can see just how steep the far bank of the canal is but then once again looking downhill towards where the river Dee runs we've got firstly a huge amount of wild garlic but just look how steep that is there are so many different things you could focus on and talk about in this region but I think the first thing that we've got to take a moment just to contemplate is imagine how much work and how difficult it would be to create miles of canal that skirts and crosses a valley like this but also imagine doing that 200 years ago without all of the modern technology what an absolutely exceptional feat this is immediately tied in with that fact is imagine 200 years later having people still looking around going wow this is incredible and a canal that's in daily use feeding water further down the network I absolutely love this little section of maybe half a mile of canal it's it's just so rural peaceful out of the way of most people's regular routes and then you've got these two wonky bridges very close to each other as well it's also an excellent destination when I'm walking good old Gizmo the dog and he also seems to approve broadly of the area too and this bridge in particular as we zoom in here talk about asymmetrical goodness me everything about this looks wonky thinking about it as I'm recording I almost love these bridges not just because of the slightly more unusual look they have compared to a lot of the standard humpback bridges on the network but also because of what they represent because the canal is cutting through so unnaturally flat along the hillside the bridges are almost adding in their own artificial hillside contours before we go I just want to show you the view from the top of this bridge and you'll probably realise why the farm track makes a right angle turn as soon as it crosses the canal here because yeah that's once again one of those very steep hills we've seen the canal skirting around. At this point I think I'll wrap things up and let you continue your day unhindered. Thank you very much for watching, please check out my other videos and subscribe, check out my short books about boat life available on Amazon and please consider checking out my Patreon too. More videos coming soon. See ya!